every successful person in the world has somebody that tells them the truth. Once you start having success, you have a lot of people telling you what you want to hear. We are a young team. And I believe that confident players and confident teams win in the National Football League. Where does confidence come from, guys? Preparation. Preparation. You win by outworking people, win. And you better advance. Whatever the standard is, you guys set it. But I do know this. I do know this. We're going to practice in this place. That's what we're going to do. We're going to practice. We're going to practice. We're going to practice. Talk about practice. They, I would say. Thanks, guys. Let's go, babe. Let's go. There it is. There it is. Ah. That was bad. Here, let's get another one. Yeah, there it is. Do you believe in conspiracies? Huh? Do you believe in conspiracies? <laughs> it depends what they are. I'm thinking more like flat earth birds or no. I did hear this one thing though, the government is out to kill anyone with the name Heath. Oh wow. It's a very small population. It is. Does that freak you out or no? No, I'm Turn it up close. Yeah, trying to get the ball out. Just getting better every day, Heath. That's what it's about. Let's have a day today, baby. Let's go, baby. Let me just say this real quick. Joint practice, fourth joint practice in a week, this is hard, okay? It's hard. It's hard. Who can push through, not think about getting on 85 yet, and put, make the standard happen on this field? So it's either them or us. That's how it goes. Get it, get it down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, lock in, fellas. Lock in. Here we go. Ready. What? 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 Hey, hey, good job. Nice catch, bro. You look good today. You know I know. Keep the, keep the sense of urgency going, right? Keep yeah. the sense of urgency going. You're going to feed off of your energy and your, you know, you stay poised, you get them going, sense of urgency, they'll feed off. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Situation. Hey, 137 right now. Need a touchdown, right? Down six. Touchdown, extra point, wins the football game, right? So let's get the drive going and here we're rolling with it, okay? Ready? I'm running plays. I'm running plays. Yeah, I really gotta get it every way. Yeah, I'm really on my business every day. I'm running plays. I'm running plays. Fourth and ten, ball's gotta go behind the sticks, right? We need that first. Yeah. Derek. Good luck to see you, man. Stay healthy, man. Keep yeah, I appreciate going. that. Yeah, you too, man. You got, y'all got a young squad, a real young squad. So y'all got talent, but they young. You're going to have to push these boys to work. No doubt, bro. I appreciate you. All day, brother. Good yep. luck, man. Thank you. You too. Game's over. That's crazy. Well, at Wofford. Will looks like he's on a beach with a Pacifico and a lime just chilling. The Carolina Panthers return to Bank of America Stadium to host the Baltimore Ravens tomorrow night in week two of the preseason. After sitting all his starters Sunday, Matt Rule expects a number of them to play tomorrow night. Man, it's hot. I'm glad to be getting in some AC. Glad camp's done. Good camp. And uh, see you in Charlotte.
All right, here you go, Kev. So, you know, we have the GPS and we have all the force plate stuff. This is, um, you know, just the reps that we've looked at over the last, you know, week or week and a half with between the Colts practices and the games and then the Ravens uh, joint practices so far. So you kind of look at the guys at the bottom, um, guys that have had the least amount of reps. If you look at those dark blue columns, it's the, you know, game day average for a starter. And you see the light blue is kind of what we would expect them to have to do on a seven day period leading up to the game. So we're trying to hit you know, those targets, you know, and get reasonably close to them. So we know that way when we hit week one, guys are going to be ready to go and be prepared for, for what we're going to need them to do. So is there anybody that, you know, maybe is a flag or someone we need to keep an eye on or maybe hold back a little bit? There's uh, two guys at the bottom. Those are guys that were uh, guys with concerns with hydration. Uh, and that last practice, they had to get IVs. Um, you know, nutrition, you know, they've been monitoring their weight and they got back to baseline. You know, we got another guy that, you know, had an issue with, with injury. You know, he's in a pretty good place, but, you know, we need to get him on the field, assess him functionally. That sounds like a good plan. And then, you know, obviously we'll just be, keep a track of stuff throughout the game and be ready to kind of adjust on the fly as needed. So, good. awesome. Appreciate it, Kev. Thank you, man. It's going to start and finish right in this group, you hear me? It's going to start and finish right in this group, dog. You hear me? We got to come out ready to go, dog. Start to finish, 60 minutes. The fastest, the most aggressive, and the most swaggy, dog. We going to get it. Man, where my dogs at? from your defense right there. Panthers can do something on this third and eight. This has to be a pass. Will gets it out, one-on-one -on -one ball, sideline. Perfect catch. ball to that was Terrence a great Marshall. Ball, great catch. Terrence Marshall is becoming one of those guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, that boy calling. 18-yard completion to Shai Smith. I love to see this from the rookies. The penalty is a crime. The play is the first this time. is a crime right here. This is holding in every country, every <laughs> state. <laughs> Nigel Warry, here's the one that had the hand on David Moore there. That man's no, name is Warrior. Who? The dude who got toasted and had to hit D Moore. Oh, bruh. You gotta have a you gotta no, That's a hard-ass last name. If you, if you have that line, you gotta be cold. Huntley in pressure. Really Frankie Louvu in the backfield. Really love Frankie Louvu, his perfect timing. Watch out, mama. Here comes that man. <laughs> Huntley, nice ball. First oh, down, he drops it. And the ball is out. They're calling that a fumble. Another play by, by Carolina. Another play by Frankie Louvo. He's a football player. This guy just yes. throws balls out. And he is rushing the quarterback. He's affecting plays every time he's in there. Wazoo Prada has looked so good in August and so good tonight. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Frankie <laughs> hard headed. Oh, uh, Louvo? Boys? How y'all doing? Good, good. What does it mean for you guys to see a, a guy like Frankie Louvu come out and play with the energy he's played with the first couple of weeks? Man, I love, uh, we call him Ooze, uh, but I love Ooze, man. I love Frankie. Um, high intensity guy, motor doesn't stop. Uh, in practice, been making big plays, and it is carrying over to the field. Um, second week in a row where he, you just, you know, he's on the field. He's making plays. Terrific ball player, man. I love him. What's the nickname you said? Oops. Uh, in, in their language, it means brother. Probably two days before the game, I'll get a haircut. After I do my recovery session at the at the stadium, come home, try and decompress, get my hair cut, listen to some music, and uh, just get my mind right pretty much for the game. I feel like this year is different for me. Got the chance to come in, you know, sign one year, and just trying to make the most out of it. 
every opportunity that I get, I just pretty much is take it like it's my last snap that I'm about to retire. Kevin Green came into my rookie year. He got me as an undrafted free agent and called me right after the draft. On that phone call, he just told me, if you come here and just trust my, my techniques, you know, and just get full effort in whatever you do, you're gonna make this team. So he always have this say, a lot of conversation where what you put in is what you're gonna get out. So every day I feel like I try and put in the work because by game day, it's, it's just slower and it's easier for me. So those things I, I live by and trying to stick by and just, you know, perfect that every day. Coming from Samoa, I left the island. I was the last one to leave. Got a scholarship to play for Washington State. So that's my first time, you know, off the island. So, you know, hopefully next year or two years, you know, go back to the island and, and just get back, you know, how I was in the same shoe when I was back on the island, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good like that. So, some more culture, we call this a uh, year, or for to shorten, uh, to say year, yeah, and then uh, we we'll say lava lava. You know, there's two ways of saying it, but pretty much uh, men and women in our culture wear these. So we put them on waist. This is how you put them on. You know, just like tying a towel, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, to other people that don't know about, you know, our, our culture, this is what we wear. The symbols and then, the, uh, you know, all the designs in the Samoan culture, uh, we wear it and uh, it pretty much it symbolizes, you know, pride. I'm all covered up in Samoan tribes and I'm proud to carry it, you know, everywhere I go. Charlotte ain't too bad. It's, it's a small community, you know, uh, even though you're, I'm in the city, but um, it's just similar like home, you know, so ain't bad. Robbie Anderson secured the bag today, agreeing to a two-year contract extension that'll keep him in Carolina through the 2023 season. So a nice deal for him. Anderson had a career high season with the black and blue last year. Well, he's happy to stay. It's very exciting, you know, and just feel extremely blessed. And I'm you know, thankful and grateful to know that I'm gonna be here for the future. And I like really like being here, you know, outside of the building room. Just a good workplace where I feel like I can I'm able to really be myself and just go hard in football. That's what That's it. You got any questions or anything? No. Nah, right, Congratulations. Appreciate it. You earned it. Yes sir. Well, tonight, in less than two and a half hours, the Panthers are going to take the field at Bank of America Stadium, their last preseason game, live at the stadium, in the sun, enjoying that heat out there. Get it. I got you. I'm gonna make it happen. We got when we get short fields, we gotta keep him down there. Benny Snell bounces off defenders for three. Yeah, you coming out, boy? You better hold that tight. You better hold that tight. Bro, he really fumbled that. I I, I got that the ball. He he got it right back though. I got a tackle. I made him fumble, but he, he got that back. I gotta wash my mouth. But I can't help it. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Hey, keep him down here. Intercepted. How about that? Off the carom, it's Brian Burns. Oh! 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 Come on! Come on! Oh! Let's go! <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Stop playing! He don't got no yak. No yak. <laughs> no yak. That's a fake ass, fake ass Spider-Man. I thought he was a superhero. <laughs> Joseph 
Control is the only punter that's been in camp. This is caught oh, the 17 oh, oh. and dropped. Yes! Yeah! Let's go! It was you. Always big juice. <laughs> Always big juice. That boy be getting out of coverage. You got one word for all Panther fans as they're inside the red zone here. Touchdown. Let's go. Oh. Quick throw this time. There's Marshall. Five. Touchdown. It's a great play. Great play call. That boy good. That boy real good. That boy good. Best shot beat you on the field. Best shot beat you on the field. Best shot beat you on the field. <laughs> Come on, take the field. Hey, 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 Yeah, what? Yeah! Damn, I wanted that! Hey, two minutes, end it. It's two minutes. Hey, two minutes, get this out, you know we done. Let's see if the starters can finish the night converting on this fourth down. Darnold quickly first down to DJ Moore. That is a great run and individual effort by DJ Moore. Oh, oh DJ. Mr. Dependable, that boy like that! That boy like that! That boy like that! Only 30 seconds left in the half, first and goal. Nice little drives we putting together. Darnold, end zone, touchdown Robbie Anderson! Did he just drop a dive on him? I, I shot that shit up on camp. Stop playing with him! That boy good! He got so grill. <laughs> hey, if I had it, I'd do the same thing. Hey. Brother. Yeah. Off season. All right. First of all, I want to thank you guys for all your work. I know Dan said you guys wrote over 1,100 guys. So that's, that's a boatload of guys. So I appreciate all your work. That's, that's good coverage for us. So this process. We're going to go through the guys we're going to claim, work out, like our emergency board. Dan, do you want to walk them through? Yeah, so just we'll go through team by team. If it's your team, short and sweet, we'll fly through the list. All right, so we'll start with Arizona. Practice squad, practice squad, work out if healthy. Atlanta, uh, let's go Baltimore. Adam has a practice squad player. Okay. Work out. Work out, guy, yeah. Height. He's a high weight speed guy. He was in that uh, spring league and flashed a little bit. I thought we should work him out just to see down the road. He's the big, bigger, longer dude. I think I'd like to watch him with the group just because he had a good preseason, like better than I even expected. So let's do a workout then. Everybody good there? Yeah. All right, Buffalo, Cleveland, uh, Cincinnati. Yeah. Michael Jordan. I'd like for us to watch. Yeah, I thought he was a maker team. Uh, so I'll have to get back and watch him. And that's it for me. Yeah, so I'm going to do Carolina. Cool. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think the biggest thing to understand for all of us guys is, hear me when I say this, we all know that training camp is over, but game week is here. Game week is here. So each and everything that we do matters. This is a top term I've used before. I worked for Tom Coughlin, two Super Bowls. He used to say you had to be humble enough to prepare and confident enough to perform. What does humble confidence mean? It means you expect to win, but you also respect your opponent. So that's that's the mindset we have, guys. So let's make sure we're all on the same page. We're all on the same page, guys. Oh, we need to. Oh, 
Jesus Christ! Run, 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 run.